Hi, you guys. I'm going to get started with a topic, and I want to start with a question. And my question to everyone is, why did you become a teacher? Hmm. When I think about that, and then I ask myself the same question. Hmm. Why did I become a teacher? Well, let me give you a little background of myself. Starting out, I'm a country girl. Um, I played a lot of sports. Um, I played basketball, softball, ran track, or whatnot. So I got the other side of like what we would consider or call family um, with my coaches, teammates, and stuff like that. And it was a, it was a pretty good feeling. Um, I enjoyed it. So that side of it, that gave me that. So once I began or thought I was going to start my career, I wanted to become a coach. Um, and I did. I coached girls uh, basketball, softball, and in track uh, once upon a time. I enjoyed it. it. It was time consuming, but once you love what you do, it makes a difference. So I really love um, coaching, the relationship that I was able to build with the girls along the years. Um, and it reminded me of, you know, relationship with my coaches coming up. So make a long story short, um, I continued to coach. And then my career as coaching, um, I began as like a para. And I was with special education para. So I was like, hmm, where's this going? Because it's not part of the plan that I had. Uh, I was like, okay, but I enjoyed it. I became in love with it. Um, and I guess it helped also because I have a sister uh, with autism. So our relationship is pretty close. She's very protective of me. And I just never thought of like, oh, this would be a career for me doing and teaching special education. So um, becoming a para and coaching, I also went back to school um, become a full-time teacher with special education now. And I'm like, hmm. So, you know, it was sort of kind of like having a hidden talent that I didn't know or wasn't aware of or that I didn't identify at the time. So, it's sort of kind of like we have these plans and goals. Like, this is what we're going to do or this is what I want to do or this is what I think I want to do. So, in doing that, um, para doing that. Then I became a full-time teacher with special education and I just became in love with that. And when you become in love with what you do, it make it easy every day. So with that, I began to love teaching and I began to identify with myself why I teach. So to answer the question, why do I teach? It's because you get to build these relationships with students, with parents uh, as well, because we like to say, yeah, we, we don't really get the communication like we want with parents, but you do have those that you really connect with, that they try to identify with you as a teacher, try to get on the same page with you, try to do and like this, like, as they say, a village, raise a, a child, and literally, yes. Um, so you enjoy that. So, and I did, I, uh, and I do, I do love that. Um, and as a parent, I started like with the high school, uh, middle school level. Now I'm on the elementary level, so being able to identify and have the different levels from all levels, it it feels good. So I'm able to like go in with them with my students to feel to identify with them because I always like to say we don't know what our students are dealing with, what they are coming with, uh, what issues they are dealing with, or what they are having to deal with. So and as an adult. You try to identify with the students and just, I, I just love to solve it up and say, just to meet them where they are, you know? So 
I try to meet my students where they are, I try to build that relationship where they are, I try to be able to build from where they are, you know, and not just beat them down because, yeah, sometimes we teach us real hard because we, our expectation for our students are so high. But at the same time, sometimes what I expect, expectation here for our students is good. But we have to realize sometimes from the background where they are coming from, of even with the parents, the expectation for them is not even there. So as the teacher, you have to be able, yes, you have to wear the many hats. You have to try to identify with them in all areas and their parts of where they are. It's good to know once you come back into work the next day that these students are happy to see you, even if it's just a hug, even if it's just to have a good day. Oh, your shirt look nice. It's the small thing. So I'm gonna just leave it a little bit right there for now to just to try to see um, some of y'all comments or what you feel or what you're thinking about this uh, as far as why do you teach? Why? You know, um, so just think on that for a moment. Why do I teach? Thank you.